So, welcome to Hot Yutnake. And we've got the Golf MK8 or the Golf 8R on test. And this is the full review. So, um, we just had to adjust our camera because we've been out in the sun for far too long. So, we're going to give you a detailed report what we like, what we don't like. And probably one of the reasons why it's probably the most anticipated car for the year 2022 and 2023 as it stands. First up, um, the Golf 8, the GTI, was a stunning looking vehicle. King's Red made things happen with the pots. And then you have this year car that came with a twin which was the Tiguan R. If you follow this channel, like, subscribe, comment, you will know that we had um, the Tiguan R launch video and Mark 8 launch videos and we quite liked them, we quite enjoyed them. The first impressions we actually gave them quite high marks. Now time for us to live with one of the most anticipated cars. Um, let's start off with the looks. The interior, high quality materials, carbon finish look. Um, I love these blue black seats that are perforated. They are heated and cooled. This power driver's one is powered. It's got a memory setting. It's got a lumbar support as well. The steering wheel with the bigger pedal shifters, meaning that someone is watching what the aftermarket is doing and what they like. I love the changing digital cluster. The center console is nice. I know that a lot of people have still got gripes with this um, embedded system that VW uses and the light system here. Yeah, some people still prefer buttons. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, shame. You know, you wish you had a button for that because even for the air conditioning, I had to actually do X to Y to X to Y. But okay, we're living in a world where a lot of things go on tech, so we have to get used to that. On the exterior, the rear seats, oh, they look nice. I don't like the blue stitching, the blue patch on the headrest. I like a small patch, like the one on the driver's seat and the passenger seats, the front, front passenger seat, sorry. But la blue patch and the time, the actually, yeah, yeah, well, boot space is decent. You can't lower the boot space because it's got a subwoofer there, no spare wheel. Um, Right, when we go to the, other than that, our interior, shame. I will tell you this much, so. With this interior, a lot of people felt this car has grown up too fast. Personally, I feel it hasn't grown up too fast any more than it appeals now to a wider audience. And listen, now we're too cool. When's this into better? Yeah, that's the best way to explain it. So it's matured. On the exterior, I know. It's it's a ball racer to the beat. 19 inch rims, estorial rims is what they call them. I love them. 235, 35 rubber on 19s. This gaping front bumper is, is really quite something that is impressive. Uh, it looks like it's got a missing part. Side uh, side view, you move here. On, okay, and then there's the sunroof. I don't really like commenting about the sunroof. I'm not a new generation. Not, not. I'm shiny sunroof. I'm shiny. It's there. I, and if we know you love that matter. So when you go to the side view, aluminium mirrors on this one, you got an option for carbon, uh, carbon wraps, carbon covers. And then there's the, um, this, the rear view, the most pivotal part for the rear view on this one, those Accra pipes. They are big, they stand out, the boot spoiler, and the R logo, the new, the new design R logo, this is the R, everything else maybe is the R line. There is no R line golf in this eighth generation. There's a GTI and then there's the R. Ha! It's a beautiful car rounding off. And then we come to, you know, okay, in terms of specification, VW went very, very generous. The 19 inch rims are standard, the panoramic roof is standard, the Hammond Cardon sound system, yeah, layer, I couldn't quite get my sweet spot on it but it's decent it's decent um what else there's a lot of stuff that's standard man i think on the options list there's only seven items you can take seven but i stand to be corrected but i think it's seven items which means it really is a well spec vehicle now to the crest of the matter what you want to know 
2 liter E8 triple eight motor 235 kilowatts of power 400 newton meters of torque sub 100 0 to 100 250 top speed how does that feel okay this road is bumpy so let's go on the steering R mode and then A performance hey, 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 hey. where would we put this car alongside in terms of performance I mean you saw how the trees went from being in focus to being blurry and for something that's just a four cylinder it really truly is magnificent 235 kilowatts of power never felt as strong and VW has got this thing where they give you a figure from a previous generation like 228 kilowatts to 235 is exactly 7 kilowatts 380 to 400 is 20 newton meters but the way this car feels I tell you, you will not be blamed for wanting to put up a fight with someone in something far stronger or with a bigger block and you can't be blamed yeah, but we can't blame you at all I mean, seriously oh there's that sound as well um, the overrun with the fuel, there's like i don't know if you can hear it but i mean from the other videos i know my friend mo who i'm shooting with now was uh, lost his mind when i took him for a drive in this so yeah. <laughs> the beautiful thing about a dsg gearbox that most people never tell you Apart from the fact that it's responsive and it does things as required as when it's needed, it's, it's the change down, man. Hey, by, by Tana, whoever worked on this and whoever worked on the Porsche's PDK definitely knew what they were doing. Listen, the car itself, ugh, performance, very little. But now I'm going to tell you something that more than likely most people will not tell you about this car. While it's nice to drive it in race mode, and yet the sound there's another secret that you may need to know because this car runs on 19 inch rubber right on 35 millimeter thick rubber you put it into comfort mode like here so yeah well, comfort mode it's gonna feel muted however you put it in sports mode and you drive it and the composure is there the performance is there and this is how I've been driving it and I've been utterly, utterly, utterly enjoying it because I can't do in there and the finishing at it. He's coming now, we can hear him coming, you can hear him coming. Yeah, but it's there, it's muted, it's fine, it's mundane, yet it's effective. And I quite like that. And I quite like that a lot. And I remember a wise man, a wise race driver once told me. How it handles, twists these bumps, and then if it stays there, when you go into a sharper setting, you are only going to improve your time. If it's on a public road, pray that it's a smooth road and there's no nature that's like bottles, bumps that will make it feel skittish. And it's something that I've been applying. And let me tell you, it gives you an entire different perspective of a vehicle and how it behaves on the road. Because now, we are born by, okay, yens are X, Y, Z, and you're comfortable. And this is when you start learning. When all is said and done, can you live with that car? Because most people buy performance cars. Hey, we're having gremlins this morning. The video keeps cutting, but at least we've done the fundamentals so when all is said and done 
Is this something you can live with? Yes. Uh, is this something I would buy? Yes. And no, I don't have pricing for it. So I gave this car initial impressions a 9.5. And I think that score stays. Um, I might just maybe shave one or two things. But I think 9.5 is still a good car. So for the Golf R review, Golf 8R review, we're giving this a healthy 9.5. Um, it really is something that is, you know what, it's, it's true to its core. And it really is, uh, and must win Zani long, Uvelang energy, or Shawa Chikaban and Pega Pebuli Milan Ted. Hey, anyway, like, subscribe, tell us what you think. We're giving the Golf R the 8th generation a 9.5 for its review. Where's Lebanon's the channel? Tell your friends, tell your mother, tell everybody else. Yeah, we like it. We like it. It really is, it, it's true to its core, but it's just better. It's better. The exhaust. Interior, feel good factor. Ichamba. Yo. <laughs>